Welcome to Xcard 5 Starter Guide. You've installed Xcard successfully. Congratulations! Now we need to finish a couple of steps and fill our store with company information, define shipping and payment methods, and add products to sell online. In your admin area homepage, you'll see the Starter Guide that will help you to set up everything you need. Whenever you're ready to go online without it, just click Do not show at Startup anymore and close. We won't do it right now. You can also always find all the store setup settings here in the side menu. Let's specify our store information. You can define your company name, address, phone number, email and so on. After you are done with all the contact information details, click Submit. In Cart and Checkout section, you can choose your customer's front end options. Let's change, for example, products per category listing page to 20 and minimum allowed order subtotal to 5. You could be also interested in making a customer choose product options before adding products to the cart if you'd like them to make the right decision before they purchase. Administrator zone settings seem to be fine. Click Submit. In Address Field section, you'll find all the information your customers have to complete, like their first and last names. If you want to collect some extra information about your customers, you can always add a new address field here. You can make these fields optional or required. Save your changes. Default customer address affects the way your guest client will see taxes and shipping before logging in. We'll leave it without changes. Let's set up our payment methods now. Here you can add online and offline payment methods so your clients can pay for their orders. You can choose one of the payment gateways integrated with Xcard from this section. And as you can see, you've already got PayPal Express Payment Gateway Connector added. You can use it to log in into your existing account. But we'd like to add PayPal Standard to our store. Click here, Add Payment Method. For a second, there are more than 100 methods available. Choose PayPal Standard from this list. If you already have a PayPal Merchant account, just fill in this form with your information and click Save. Let's go back to Store Setup. Here you can set up destination zones for shipping and taxes. For each destination zone, we need to define shipping rates manually or choose Automated Shipping Calculator integrated to your cart here in the Shipping section, for example Canada Post for Canadian merchants or USPS for US ones. You can offer different shipping methods to your customers and set up shipping rates for them. You can set up a flat rate per order or define shipping rates depending on order's weight, number of products, etc. For more detailed shipping information, check our video configuring shipping in Xcard 5. If you would like to set up shipping calculator such as USPS, Canada Post or FedEx, you'll need to enable them in your installed model section here. We are going to use UPS for our store. Let's find this module. Click Enable button and wait for its setup. The model setup process can take some time. Now you can choose shipping methods from the list, set up rates and connect it to your UPS account. Don't forget to set up taxes if you are going to use any. In Taxes section you can create tax class, add shipping zones and define tax rates. Save your changes. Let's return to our home page. As you can see, we're almost done with the setup process, but we need to add some products to start selling online. In product section, you've already got some default products, but we want to add a new one. So click add product. Here you can define your product name, its category, images and price. You can also assign your product to a certain membership, but we won't do it right now. Complete the description fields to make your product more attractive to the customers. Filling in meta keywords will help your product be more popular with search engines. After finishing with all the product details, click Add Product. Now you can add attributes, product variants, define wholesale pricing, set up product reviews and even add some related products for upsell but you'll find more information about that in our next videos. Let's check our store front end. All the recently added products can be found here in your arrival section. Now your Xcard store is all set and ready to bring some profit. Good luck 
and thank you for watching.